question four in page 194. Very good. Now forecast and actual sales of MP3 players at Just Say Music are as follows. We have the time buckets and then we have actual like the next question says for November using three moving average. So let's do three period moving average. Three period moving average. We are doing part C. Part C. Part C. And time buckets, you know, if they are March, April, May, or whatever they are. Uh, they are the same for us, so it would be one to three. So March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and we want to predict and now uh, actuals. Can you please read actuals for me? 170. Uh, 229. 179. Yeah. Okay. So I want just to emphasize that if you want the three period moving average, uh, we actually don't need to go through all of, we don't need all of these past actuals. To answer part C, the only thing, you know, the predict, this is the forecast, three period moving average forecast uh, for November is simply the average of these three. So we actually don't need to go through all of that. So please tell me what is the average and that for week three, for, for November, using three period moving average. Two zero four point six 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 six. Because we go to four decimal places. Here we are. Okay. And then uh, also it asks us to find what is the two period moving average. And of course, two period moving average will only rely on the last two. So if I find these two. This would give me two period moving average. Two zero two. Two period moving average forecast would be how much it would be? Two zero two. Two zero two. But the main question is the uh, is that which one of these methods is better in real life? And in the exam, you will face uh, the same question. Uh, so now the question says compute MSE for two and three period moving average models and compare your results. So basically the real question in real life is that, okay, we can have two period moving average forecast, which is 202. Then we can have three period moving average, which is 204. But which one is actually the forecast that we are going to offer you know, as an operations manager when you are asked to predict November? What would you report? Would you report 202 or would you report 204? And that question cannot be answered now. So basically, this is the answers of the, or the previous questions, but this is not really the answer that we can report until we simulate in this company what would happen if we had used since day one 
two period moving average and three period moving average, find the amount of error that each one would cause, compare the two errors, and then we can make a decision what is the correct way of forecasting for this company. Is everybody following me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to erase these. Yes. It's basically, we are not going to rely on these things that we calculated. These are basically, we don't know which one to have, we have to read. So this is what we are going to do. We say, okay, uh, let's assume that I was hired in this company uh, uh, since uh, March. Uh, and I was going to use three period moving average. Would I have any forecast for March? No. Could I do any forecast no. for March? No, no, because no. I, I don't have three past periods. Could I do any forecast for April? No. 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 Could I have any forecast for May? Yeah. No, no. because oh. my forecast <laughs> should rely on three past actuals, I wouldn't have, have any forecasting. The first forecast that I could have would be based on these three numbers. This is, you know, at the end of May, I can forecast July. So the night, the last day of May, I can forecast what will happen in July. And that would be the average of these three numbers. You know, just be, this, we already know what is the actual for July, but now we are simulating, saying, okay, what would happen if I was at the end of the May and I was predicting July? What would be my forecast? So tell me what is the average? 197. And if I was at the end of July, then I would rely on these three numbers. What would be my forecast for July? Two twenty point six 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 seven. And let's continue like that. So you would give me the average of the you no know, at the end of July we could predict August. <laughs> August is 223.6667. And September, 229.6667. Uh, October is 224.3333. So this what, no, if we were uh, hired from the beginning, from the beginning of March, these would be our forecasts. And now I have a question. If we had used three period moving average, was forecast for July correct? No. No, it won't be because at the end of June, we predicted 220 or July, but 238 was happened. Uh, was our forecast for August good? No, too good. Yeah, it's a, so basically we, we see that there is an error for every forecast that we do, okay? So this, of course, like any other forecast, the forecast based on three period moving average uh, are not perfect, they have error. And now the question, part D, is asking us to use mean squared error to uh, compare the two methods of two period moving average and three period moving average, and I make, make a decision that as an operations manager, which method of forecasting we will use. So, okay, now please calculate the amount of error 
Error is always, just remember that I write it here, it's always actual minus forecast. Of course, we don't have any forecast here, therefore we have no error. But tell me the amount of error for each one of these forecasts that we would do if we had been using this method in the past year. And I'm going to write the errors here. 44. Uh, 17.3333. Uh, negative 13.6667. Negative 4.6667. Negative 45.3333. And now we have to calculate the squared error because we want mean squared error. is too small. Okay, squares, please. One, nine, three, six. Three hundred point four, 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 four. One, sixty, eight, uh, one, eighty, six. Point seven 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 eight twenty one point seven 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 eight two zero five five point one 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 okay. Now that we found errors to find mean square error. We have to find the average of these numbers. Is it the average or is it the total? So mean. Uh, oh, we yeah, want right. the mean. So let me write it down. We want the. These are a squared errors, and we want to know the mean of. Error squares, mean square error, MSE. We write it here as well. MSE. Who is okay? I want everybody to do this calculation. Tell me the average of these numbers. Average of these numbers. 900.022222. Okay. So we know that if you use three period moving average, this is how much is the measure of error that would occur to us. Now we have to do the same thing for two period moving average. Same steps. And we would simulate that what would happen to us if we were hired in this company and instead of using three period moving average, we would use two period moving average forecasting. And basically the first two weeks, we wouldn't have any forecast. And for the third week at the end of August, I could make a forecast, maybe let me use a Highlighter, I would use these two weeks to do the forecast for week three. Yeah, may I have a question? Uh, what is that? Um, do it, it, since it's asking for November, don't you find out what November is as well for the three periods? No, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, the manager has asked us to for, forecast November, but I don't know if I have to use two-period moving average, three-period moving average, 
four period movie or I don't want to mislead oh, my I manager. See. So I have to find out which one would give me best uh, least amount of error first. Then we will use that method to forecast. Okay, so what is our forecast for week three, uh, months, uh, May, the third month? 170 plus 229 divided by 2. 199.5. And we continue like that. To 10.5. So for those who are just listening and are not doing, is 210.5 is the average of these two which came here. For July. And for, uh, sorry, for June. And for July. 216.5. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And for August, two thirty nine point five. And for September, two twenty four. And for October, two seventeen point five. Very good. And now Again, the same story. We have to find error, and we have to find error squared. Error is always actual minus forecast. We look at that, and then we have our. We will have our error square. Okay, we have. We have no error. In. The first two, our first error happens here, actual minus forecast, 192 minus 199 to be a negative number. Negative seven and a half. Very good. And we go on like that. Thirty point five. Um, 21.5. Um, Negative 29.5. Um, mm -hmm. 38.5. We have to find the average of these numbers to mean error square, which is called mean square error. Let's find the average of these numbers. Six three three point seven zero eight three. 
Repeat. Six three three point seven zero eight three. Okay, you don't have a speed. Uh, so, but it is enough for us. So, which method of forecasting is better for this company? To pre-moving average forecast. Exactly. So if we want to report the forecast, we will use two period moving average. And to do two period moving average, we would simply use these two numbers. And that average will come here. That is the forecast that we are going to The average of the two last actual. Two oh two. Two. Oh two. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two zero two. That's it. No decimals. No. That is what we are, we are going to report. So when the question says. Uh, compute the two and three period of average mean square error and compare. Yeah, we compare the results. We see that mean square error in the case of 633, yeah, in case of two period moving average is less. Therefore, that is the method of forecasting that we are going to use if the choice is between uh, these two. Now it says find the best number of periods. To find the best number of periods, then we have to do four period moving average, five period moving average, and we already did it on computer, and you know how to do it. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you, Amir. Take care. Bye-bye. My pleasure. Bye-bye.